we go. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> what up, Rep Pack? It's your boy here, King Reptar. Back with another video here. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Camera, black and white flip. <laughs> We don't gotta do nothing because I'm already black and white. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we are gonna be opening up something absolutely awesome. And we also are gonna be opening up and going for some hunts for some bangers only packs as well. But inside of these giant boxes, I don't know what I got in here, Park. Uh, yeah. I have a 1 out of 50 Kinsigamori artwork. What? Literally, dude. What? Literally. Just a couple days ago on the Pokemon Center, out of nowhere, like everybody was caught off guard. Literally, out of nowhere, they dropped 1 out of 50 print artworks of original Kinsigamori artwork. Dude, are you kidding me? I am not kidding you. And you got them? No. Oh, yes. I would get all of them. <laughs> There was several. There was six in total. Six in total. I got two of them. Inside of here, we're gonna open up the first one. Then we're gonna hunt for some banger onlys inside this box right here. I have two pack blisters. Try and see if we can pull some shiny, some other great things, maybe even a VMAX Charizard. But then we're gonna open up the other box. So let's open up this first one here and we're gonna see what's inside of it. Okay. But dude. I'm telling you. Ken Sugimori, if you guys don't know him, here's some of his famous artwork. He literally basically designed like all Pokemon. <laughs> so literally one of the greatest artists in Pokemon history. It came up, I saw the opportunity, I was not missing it. See what we got here. So that's really interesting. I'm assuming they sold out. It sold out instantaneously. <laughs> So you probably just got lucky with the notification Literally, or something? it sold out within 10 minutes, almost all the prints. But I managed to get one of the two I needed the most of <laughs> each. And both of them, $250. Wait, that was $250? Yeah. yeah and yeah, then yeah. that was $250? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God. Big bank business moves. <laughs> And right here though, this is like I said, 50 pieces. We're gonna be popping it open. But this thing already, dude, as of this video, is already people selling it for like $900. <laughs> I mean, one in a 50? Come on. There's only 50. Exactly. So let's slide this thing out of here. Let's see what we got in here. Dude, look at the quality and the size of it. And it, oh, it's framed. It's not <laughs> even like a poster. It's like actually framed. This is framed artwork. Okay. Holy crap. It looks too, good. I won't get too close because we can kind of see what it is. I, I don't really know what it is though. Yeah, we're gonna pop it open. Okay, so I said black and white flip for a reason. They had a couple Pokemon on there. They had Xerneas, they had Vetzel. All right, all they right. had, oh, this one, this one you would've loved. There's Rayquaza. Oh. <laughs> oh, that probably sold out faster than instant. I clicked on it and it just told me to be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, okay, get that one. And then Darkrai, Dialga, and Pouch. No. Yeah. Oh, that was sold. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that one was sick. And two more other Pokemon, which we'll kind of get an idea right now. I think I'm actually the first one to be able to figure out the second one. And then not just that, one out of 50. So that means we got to right. find out what the number is. Oh, it's like, oh, yeah. yeah. So I didn't think about that. So they had the number on the product. That's sick. Yeah, Let's with all it. collectibles, it's always best to get the numbers that are, you know, if you can get a like one through five, always golden. If you can get a 10, a 20, a 30, 40, 50, 50, those are good numbers. You get 25, a 1, a 50. Those are good too. For 37. Out of luck. Out of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we got in here though. It's so quality, it even comes with the hardware. Oh. <laughs> well, $250 better come with everything. <laughs> you know, $250 better come with the wall. <laughs> oh. Oh, what's that? That's Dude. sick. Oh, that looks sick. Oh. That's him. Dude, that's, that's, that's Ken. That's Sugimori. That's Ken. <laughs> we got Ken Sugimori right here. It says Sugimori Art Collection, second edition. The first edition that came out was a different set of art. Then right here, we got, thanks for the purchase of Sugimori art piece. This collectible art series includes the works that capture the dramatic scenes weaving Pokemon and trainers together. That's so sick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can find out the number right now. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, what oh, that? What, what, that looks like it slides out. Okay, certificate of authenticity. Oh, dude, that is sick. Damn. We got certification. That is like a, that looks like a complete diploma. It's better than a diploma. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than my diploma. It doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna do the grand flip. Grand flip. Yeah, this is also my, what they call my special move at the IHOP. <laughs> Let's get to the thing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's lift it up. Oh. Let's turn it around. Oh! oh that is beautiful! <laughs> that is so freaking sick. <laughs> we got 
and with Rishram right there. You guys don't know, Rishram is one of my favorite legendaries of all time, and N is one of my favorite characters of all time. Probably top three favorite characters of all time is N, and man, that is just that's everything. Oh, dude, look at that, look at that. 32, 32. 32. That's not, I mean, that's not the best number, but hey, that's okay. just one of the 50. <laughs> I, I, exactly, like, you have one. Yeah. so sick, like they're doing the same thing, they're so insane. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's one more. So you can definitely know it's Charizard. It's definitely. <laughs> Charizard or Rishram's uh, tail. <laughs> it's the other side of this image. It's just the other side of it. All right, so we're going to put this one safely back right here because that is going to get hung up eventually. I don't know if in the stream room, I don't know if I have the room. Maybe just outside the stream room. We never know. This right here, though, man, I didn't get a chance to look at it. God damn. That is just incredible. It this, is. That's a, that's a great word. It's incredible. And this is the cave that you would have actually fought and and you would have taken on Getsgis. If you would have had Rishram, you would have taken on Getsgis, who has Zekrom, or vice versa. So that's literally where you encounter the man and the full storyline. The man. <laughs> <laughs> that is just unbelievable. Yes. But now we got one more to reveal. But like I said, guys, here we go some banger only hunting with this box right here. Let's pop that open. Alright, guys. So now, what we are doing here is on my Darkness of Blaze set on screen video of every card in the set that I have. I'm missing next to none. <laughs> <laughs> but still some. <laughs> but still quite some important ones. <laughs> so we're gonna be opening up this today because I'm gonna be hunting. Try and finish my Darkness of Blaze setup between this video and also my live stream. Hopefully we can finish Darkness of Blaze before Champion's Path comes out. How many days will Champion's Path comes out, Parker? Dude, I don't know, but it's not close enough. Two weeks. Two weeks before my bank account thinks a terrorist attack. <laughs> Two weeks before I have to finish this set, because I'm gonna have a dime for Darkness. <laughs> Darkness of Blade is gonna be gone. And not just that, just have a Charizard in it and a Charizard in the box. I'm already assuming the prices for Darkness of Blaze are gonna go up regardless, just like with all the other sets that have most, most of them come out. So, this is my last chances. I better take them. All right, so here we go. We're gonna be popping open the other box of the Rebel Clash Darkness of Blaze blisters, seeing for all banger only hunting. Then we're gonna finish that up by opening up our last box over there. You'll see what. What Pokemon would go with that duo? <laughs> All right, so let's pop these things open. We're still freaking hunting for this guy right here. We pulled them, but that doesn't mean we're not still hunting. I know, I know right? It's just like, we're not done. <laughs> you can't not get enough Charizard. All right, so bangers only, how this works if you're new to this channel. How it's gonna work is we're gonna only open the packs that have good stuff inside of them. So we're gonna pop this pack open just like this. We're gonna take this dark as a blazer right here, the Charizard, and boom, right there we got a white code card. So if it comes out a black code card, like this one is probably, we got Black. That is usually means if you check it out, there's nothing in the pack. There's just a you know reverse hollow, your common card, which is great. But we're hunting for bangers only in this video. So with this pack right here, this one will be considered a banger only pack. We go through this, you got Tauros, Diglett, Scovit, Shuppet, Tampor, and oh, we got a Kangaskhan hollow. But that's essentially how it works. You're gonna see only hollows or better. Let's get into it. Okay, so we deduced all the losers. <laughs> Oh, now let's look at them winners. Fire types. <laughs> Alright, so this Rebel Clash pack here. Let's see. You guys know I've been aiming for the ever existing, ever never pullable frost moth. <laughs> <laughs> so we got we got Voltorb, Sandy Gaz, Bullpex, Coughing, Shinx, Metachan. Oh, we gotta tell you, that was the pack artwork though. You can never be mad when you get the Pokemon and on the pack art. But yeah, that's not it. We got Marie. Damn, that's my favorite superhero. <laughs> <laughs> we got Snubble, Poros, Rookie D, Mr. Mine. Oh, okay, we need that for the set. Ah, we do not need any more of those. No more. Coco, not even in one Coco. <laughs> Back of the darkness. Let's see. We got Electric. We got Dino. We got Pansimian, Bunnelby, Vanellet, Heatran, and oh, okay, we got a $20 Crobat. Not bad. <laughs> Crobat's all day. All right, we got Teddy USA. We got Rookie D. We got Torchic, Trap Pinch, Jigglypuff, Pulse. You guys, oh, oh come on! Oh, oh man, oh. look at that beauty. <laughs> you might as well put a mirror there. This is just hard to look at. <laughs> this is my come up in as you grab the sleeve <laughs> to protect it. <laughs> <laughs> We got Ducklet, we got Marie, Paris, Gothazita, Skarmory, Manetric, and Toxtricity. Damn. We got some light hits on that one. Hopefully we get some better than the next ones. Alright, let's see here. Let's see what we got. Last time we had some insane luck out of this box. So hopefully we can get some good pulls here at the end. But we got Helium Tile. Dude, tell me that's not the thickest card you've ever felt in your Dude, this is like, <laughs> this thing looks like a skateboard, dude. Like, dude. No, look at the side. Like it looks like plywood. Dude, I'm telling you, that is like the, the thickest. That is three cars put together. You it's can not, see though. it. You it's, can see it. 
Yeah, but you can't separate them. There it is. Oh! What did I say? <laughs> oh, that's two cards. Oh. oh! What happened? I don't know what happened. I liked it better when it was a thick card. Like, man, I could use this thing to, to scrape something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Litwick, Corsola, Vinacle, Cautious Bucket. Oh, Nine Tails with the fire! Right there, full art Nine Tail Fox. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and put that in the sleeve. All right, next pack starts off with a Scyther. You know what that means? No. Let me do. All right, I know it's <laughs> We got a copy. We got Bronzor, Doxel. Oh, we got Luxury, Luxray, Luxury. All right, all these Rebel Clash White Cold cards. Surely a Frost Moth is in the distance. You never know. You never know. I'm stop thinking you know, party. All right, we got Ericuda, Meow, Training Cores, Vika Bolt. Man, this is hollow, hollow day. I know, very shallow too. <laughs> shallow poles. All these hollows, I'm starting to think it's a hollow day. We got Sturskit here. We got Stuffle. We got coffee. We got Impidim. Shinx. Vickable. Co hollow. Colossal hollow. We got the Colossal hollow. I'd like to see this man in shiny form. But damn, you know your breath is hot when the spit coming off of it is lava. Hard generator. <laughs> That's called gingivitis. All right, last rubble clash here. And then we're getting back into the box here. And then we got, or then we got some darkness of blaze. Then we're getting back into the box. We got Litwick. Shinx. Roly Coley, Applin, Katina, Hollow? Damn! Chandelure Hollow! More like Hollow Lure. <laughs> we got Protective Glow. What's the Protective Glow? That Hollow? <laughs> we got Phoebus. Me learning how to swim. Alright, we got Fansimian. We got Fletching, Wimapod, Grimer, Mike Shinodic, and Tyranitar Hollow. Bedrock Breaker. Alright, we got Pam for here. We got Spinarak. We got Bone Sweet, Dunsparce, Manetric, Kabu, and hey, Houndoom Full Art. Now we, we know he does. That's like the fourth one of those. Yeah, at least we got some texture though. At least I, I got agree, some yeah. texture on here. Some rib, <laughs> some rib did. Here we go. We got Dreepy, Farfetch, Honage, Temple, Volby, Bronzor. Oh man, they're doing a dirty. Oh man, they're doing you. Like, I don't mind uh, hollows in the conjunction with some other stuff, you know? We got all the Darkest of Blaze artworks here. All the ones that matter at least. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the last one is. It's like, poor that guy. That's something snarled. Who cares? Oh, that's <laughs> right. We got Golit, Skitty, Dino, Jigglypuff, Dunn. Sparse, Hippotus, and Butterfree V. Okay, I'll take that one just because that's like a weird V that we still need for some reason. So I'll take it. I just move his dizzying poison. Like, as if, you know, that's not a typical trait of poison. <laughs> oh, no, you haven't tried poison before, you just feel fine. Like, <laughs> you tried that anthrax before, you just wake up feeling good. Yeah, you're like, oh man, that took me out. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was a good sleep forever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next pack here. We got Skitty, Pansage, Golit, Vanellit, Trampinch, Lairo, and hey, okay, Pokemon Breeder. I'll take this one as well. I'm a lot of stuff I'm gonna have to take. Because <laughs> this one I needed two of. One for the trainer binder and one for the Darkness of Blaze binder. The last packer. Let's see what we get here. Do we got some thunder from down under? There's still more cards. <laughs> Simi Seer. <Go> hollow! <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Keeping the vibes positive. We got a lot of hollows today. But we still got that last sign to get into. Most of the cards are for a lot of fun. So let's see what this last one out of 50. Kin Sigamori artwork is. All right. So now we're opening the last box. I'm sure there's no way you could have guessed what the last Pokemon is. But let's go ahead and slide this thing out and check it out. Hey man, we're going one out of 50. Try and guess what number you think it is. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna go with the uh, good old 36. Good old 36? No. Uh, right, well, I'm gonna go with good old, we're talking like this. I'm gonna go with the, uh, I'm gonna go ahead with the hard 25. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can probably see through here a little bit, so let me just flip this guy over. Okay, we got it all out of here. That goes in that little We pocket. got the Ken Mori artwork pocket <laughs> thing. Sugimori. Mori. <laughs> here we go, three. Two, one. Oh, 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 look at the number. Oh, we got the last one. Oh my God. We literally got like the best number other than number one, which would be number 50 out of 50. Oh, goosebumps, sick. goosebumps. Sweat. <laughs> Sweaty goosebumps. I was like amazed at like three different things. Cause I'm like, look, that's a chandelure in the back. Yeah, the actual chandelure is a chandelure. And then and the plasma, plasma logo. This plasma door, dude. Bruh. This is absolutely insane, dude. And then 50 out of 50. 50 out of 50. 50! I can't <laughs> believe that. I really can't believe that. That means I literally got the last one. Uh, what is it? A gratefulness. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> in the comments, you guys let me know down below which one is your guys' favorite. I think we gotta see both of them side by side though. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna see this on every channel. Cause I don't think a lot of people got these. So if we get the opportunity to put two legendaries that are designed to be together together, let's do it. Dude, check them out together. Boom. Oh, Dude, oh. they look so sick together. They're so large too. The prints are high quality in size and freaking. The quality is insane. Not just that they're size too. They're big. They're some, like the camera isn't doing justice. But these are like some wall art size. Yeah. Like, this is some amazing sizing printing. The Zekrom dude, me and Parker were both saying that we think the Rishram is our favorite one, but I think both of us are starting to get a little bit of a Zekrom vibe. Dude, I know. <laughs> it's just so, like, I love the blue tint and the freaking the elasticity. Like, yeah, the yeah, dude, the yeah. electricity on the bottom is dope. And I mean, with Rishram, you got the feathers themselves, though. They, they're both incredible. But Parker noted something out that he's like the same, they're actually mimicking what N's doing. So you see Rishram right there, he's flying up and N's got his hands out. He's just catching in the feathers, but in reality, he still physically is mimicking Rishram. And then same thing with Zekrom there, they're both ready to go take on the battle. Their hands are kind of in the same positions. His arms out, are his arms out. They're definitely in the same position. This foot's ahead of this foot, this foot's ahead of that foot. <laughs> and is actually linked with either Rishram or Zekrom. So, when you play the game, this is the version where Rishram goes to N. This is the one that Zekrom goes to N. So sick. Yes, so literally, you get artwork of two different realities. Nine blown. Dude, imagine put these two on the wall with the N Rishram PSA 10 in the middle. How about you stop? <laughs> <laughs> that is it for this one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. But thank you so much for watching this video. Freaking, these are absolute masterpieces. I'm so grateful to have them in the collection officially now to encapsulate them forever. These never letting go of them. Maybe one day we're lucky enough to get them signed or something. Check out this video screen right here, which is actually the last epic Pokemon bangers only pack opening. I opened up a bunch of two pack blisters, but the Pools. The pools were purer than gold. Absolutely insane. Go check those out. I'll see you guys over there. And when I say pure as gold, I mean literal shining gold. So go check it out. I'll see you guys over there. And as always, Rat Pack, adios. Ba -doom.